Volcano and Mirror by the artist Sheldon Tapley. This is an oil pastel on arch paper. But before we delve more deeply into Volcano and Mirror, let me tell you a little bit about Sheldon Tapley. He was born in Maracaibo, Venezuela. He was raised in Europe and North America. And he currently teaches art at Center College in Danville, Kentucky, and holds the endowed title of Stodge Hill Professor of Art. He began by painting landscapes, not on-site landscapes, though. They were in his studio from photographs. He felt it was much more comfortable to paint in his studio rather than face the logistical problems of the outdoors. But he did like natural light, and in the 1990s, he began painting still life. He set up some objects on a table near a window with natural light because he loved the works of the old masters who used natural light. They didn't have artificial illumination or photographs, and they didn't need them either. But let's look closer at Volcano and Mirror. On the left, you'll see the play of light on the peeling paint, and that gives it a very evocative image. And on the right, you go deeper recession into space with the brilliant landscape, the floodlight, the radiator, the mirror, the windows, they're all reflections on a broken mirror leaning against the wall. And when you look at the foreground and the background and the left and right, you get a dizzying sensation. You go near and far and into and out of simultaneously. But for Volcano and Mirror, he tells us that he collected objects from his studio, from his home, the hardware store, which he says he was a lot anyway, the grocery, and he loved the Dutch and Spanish 17th century still life of sweets and cookies and therefore the Long Johns and of course coffee. And then he has the long stemmed yellow tulip, which is possibly a whimsical nod to the Dutch still life paintings. And then there's the leafy, lavish cabbages and he wanted grandeur, so he needed deeper space. And that was the reason for the mirror and the bright, big landscape on the easel. He tells us that the easel was actually a blank easel in his studio. And he had done so many landscapes by that time that he didn't need to copy another one. He just made it up. And his studio was in an old school. And the paint on the wall was actually this pale green. But he exaggerated the peeling for visual complexity. And the floodlight, he tells us, was unnecessary, but it was part of his studio equipment because he used natural light. But the floodlight evokes light and vision, as does the mirror and the window. And there are other tools not related to art, like the shovel for digging, the sledgehammer for breaking things apart, and the tape for joining them all back together again makes Volcano and Mirror even more evocative. And then there's the little poster taped to the wall. That's a painting by Frederick Church. He's a famous 19th century American artist, and it's called Cotopaxi. It shows the eruption of the famous Ecuadorian volcano, and it conveys the brutal power of nature. And he tells us that Frederick Church inspired his big landscape skies, so this painting of Cotopaxi was his homage to church. And also the volcano adds a little bit of action to the quiet art of still life paintings, which usually consist of dull things like cabbages on a table. And our Evansville Museum honored him as the Martha and Merritt D. Young Memorial Artist in Residence in 2004. And we thank Sheldon Tapley for giving us an in-depth understanding to this beautiful contrast in still life. Thank you.